If you just swap lithium batteries into your RV and you're not getting the performance you expected, you likely didn't know about two pivotal things that are gonna make or break this system. Let's get into it and show you how to correct it. It's easier than you think. A lot of people like to overcomplicate this process, but when you're switching to lithium batteries from standard lead acid batteries, there's only two main things that you need to concern yourself with. Those two things are charging sources and monitoring the battery itself. Let's talk about charging. Charging sources in an RV application, you have your battery charger when you're running your generator or on shore power. That is also referred to as a converter. We have two different types of converters here to look at. One of them is for a 50 amp RV. You will have this guy here, a larger one with a standard outlet plug. The converter takes 120 volt power in and it puts out DC power on here to charge your battery system. When you have a 30 amp panel, when your breaker and your breaker panel, the biggest one is a 30 from shore power or generator, you're gonna have something similar to this. You'll have it wired into your breaker panel through these small wires, and then you have battery output from here for your positive negative to charge your battery system. Same idea, nothing has changed, just a little different style of how they're made. The issue we run into when people don't swap out converters, when we swap in lithium batteries for lead acid, is that lithium batteries run about a volt higher than traditional lead acid batteries. Converters are designed so that when you start charging the battery through that method, so all of that power is going into the battery until the battery gets full. Once the battery starts getting full, the circuitry in a converter is designed to start tapering down that that amperage so that it doesn't overcharge the battery it turns into a float charger well if you have a traditional lead acid converter if you put a lithium battery in now your converter is going to see that higher voltage of a lithium battery and it's going to assume your battery's full you're going to fire up your generator it's going to start charging initially and then as soon as it senses the higher voltage of a lithium battery it's going to massively taper down the output of your converter until you're doing almost nothing you are going to run that generator for about 15 hours to try to get half of your battery charged not efficient the only way to remedy this situation is to swap out your lead acid converter for a lithium style converter, a lithium compatible converter. 